and crafters, thanks for joining me today. Today I want to show you how to make a quick graduation card. I cased this from uh, Capturing Joy with Kristen Duke. I just put a, uh, just made a few changes uh, for me, but she had a really cute quick card, uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that. It is graduation season, so this is pretty timely to come out now. So this is a pop-up card here. And I've been, added this pocket, and I just uh, folded a dollar bill to look like a shirt. Great for a male graduate. Um, you can also use this to put a gift card in, or you can go on YouTube and learn how to fold a bill shaped like a heart. I put my sentiment here, and then I left these two areas open for you to write uh, your readings and your sentiment on what you want to say to the graduate. So let's get started. First thing that we need is a 9 and 5 eighths by 8 and a half cardstock nine and five eighths by eight and a half and then we're going to use this is sunshine sayings stamp set i'm going to use a sentiment out of there congrats graduate and we're also going to be using epic celebrations and this is a sale abrasion uh, stamp set and we just use this out of the stamp set and then the background okay so we have nine and five eighths by eight and a half then I took off this little section right here. This is one and an eighth, and it goes down to four and a quarter. So one and an eighth, I trimmed that off, so it was the mirror of this, I trimmed that off. That's our little tab in our, gift, in our card right here. If you've not heard of the Stampin' Up! Stapparatus, um, I'm gonna show you a little bit how to use it. Here it is with one of its hinges, and the hinges come out so you can move them. And that's what we're doing today, is we're going to use the hinges and move the hinge. So we can place that congrats right up the side. I made a, a template in here so this to sit. I've used my magnet to hold the template in place. It's two inches by two inches. I just want that great corner for this to sit right down in it. And then I use my other magnet to hold that in place so it doesn't move while I'm doing my stamping. Do not let the two magnets touch because if you do, they will just break. So I have already lined up my stamp that I want to use. And I'm going to pull this flap out and rehinge it. And now I'm going to ink it up with basic black ink and just stamp. Okay, now I want to move it up. So I pull it out and I move it up one more space and just stamp. And I'm going to move it up one more space. I have to pull it down a little bit. Okay, ink it up again. It's a lot easier if you're not doing it on camera, so I'm trying to keep it up so you can see it. And then again, pick up my hand, my flap here, and rehinge it. It comes with two of these flaps. Uh, this is a great tool that Stampin' Up! came up with. Uh, okay, so we have our outside flap that says, congrats, graduate. Yeah, I'm gonna take my magnet off. Don't let it touch the other magnet. And I'll just leave that on there. Okay, so we have our outside flap already stamped. Let's set this to the side. Okay, nine and five eighths, eight and a half. We're gonna score that, and I'm gonna score it with a pen so you can see the score lines. It's a pretty basic score line. I can't get all this in the video. Let's see if you can see it. We're gonna score at four and a quarter, and we're gonna turn it, and we're gonna score at four and a quarter again. Oh, I said I did it with the pen. Okay, let's do this. Four and a quarter and four and a quarter. That's our two score lines. Now, I need a score line from this point to this point. So here's a tip. I took a Sharpie, oops, sorry, bump the camera. I took a Sharpie and drew a line on the end of my scoreboard. I know that line is nine and five eighths. So I'm gonna line this corner up at nine and five eighths and then the other corner where my Sharpie mark is. Right here, you see that? And then I'm gonna score down that line. Make sure I get it in place. And that gives me the intersection that I need 
right through the middle of that card for my pop-up effect. Okay. So that's just a little tip to do that. It makes it a lot easier to do your scoring, small or large scoring. So here's my card now with my score lines in it. Now I just took a little two by two stick, a sticky note, post-it note, three by three, and I cut it down to two by two to make my little template. And I'm gonna take Tango, Tangerine, Tangerine Tango, and start stamping my background. And just randomly stamp, even overlapping on the post-it note. Okay, I'm not gonna do the whole thing because I have one done. I removed the post-it note, took basic black. I'll show you a finished one here in just a minute. Took basic black and stamped my message right in the middle. And here's what it looks like. And then I took a one and a, no, four and a quarter basic black by one and a half, and I'm gonna put it right in the corner of that score line. That's my little pocket where I can put my gift card or money, whatever you want to put there. Now I'm going to fold on all my score lines. So there you have your pop-up card. Now I want to show you something that I found on Amazon and it's called a sand eraser for ink. This isn't really going to matter this little scratch this little ink blot right there because I'm going to cover that up with my four and a quarter by four and a quarter to make my cap. But this thing is the best thing for stampers because it, this one may be a little too this ink mark may be a little too dark, but you do see that I had an ink mark there. It just erased it. It is, it is the best tool ever. And it, um, if you get them on Amazon, I think you buy a package of five, you can get them for less than two bucks a piece. So that's just kind of a nice um, little thing to save a card. Okay, so now we're gonna take our four and a quarter by four and a quarter cap, top of our cap, and we are going to glue it on our card. So that makes our cap base. Okay, and it looks like I have a little overhang here. So let me trim that off. Just a little overhang from my pocket, which is no problem. Just trim it right off. Get that out of the way. Okay. So here's our card. Ready to go. Line it up a little bit. Okay. So it's our pop-up graduation card. Now, for the tassel on this one, I took some retired Baker's twine from Stampin' Up, and I just unraveled it and made a tassel. Now, this is the colors of the school I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing the card for orange and black. You can certainly do any color of the school's colors, so I think I'm gonna have to make some with the green and black. So, I did that one again, and you can also use embroidery thread and just separate it and that gives you kind of a little stringy effect. For this one, I took a piece of tangerine tango and cardstock and then just cut it real thin and ran it through the crimper, this crimper, ran it through it several times to get the real ruffle effect. And then I'm going to glue that down on my card. And then the other thing that I need is a three quarter inch circle. So I have that for the top of the tassel that's on the top of the, of the uh, gown. I'm, I'm sorry, the cap. So we'll take that. And okay, we just need a glue dot to, to attach that tassel. I'm not getting any cooperation. Okay, just put it right in the middle like that. Now what I was talking about with the dimensionals, I've got my dot here and I'm going to put dimensionals on each side of it, a half a dimensional. I don't want to use a full one because I need to straddle that 
height of that uh, string or the tassel. So I just kind of put a little bit here and a little bit here. Okay. With that. So you see what that looks like? It's going to straddle that tassel. There you go. So we've got that on there. And then I took a wink of Stella because I wanted it to stand out just a little bit more against that black. So I just took a wink of Stella and colored it. So let that dry. Okay, so there you have your pop up graduation card. So here's the two that I have made. Okay. Thanks for joining me today. I hope I helped you.